guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to another five brand new products that are worth the hype video. This is a new series that I've kind of started sort of recently here on my channel and essentially the idea is that it is to help you kind of navigate all of the new makeup releases that are basically coming out every single day, tell the difference between which ones are actually worth the money and which ones really are just a waste of time. So yes, I've got five brand new release products here um, that are just being hyped all over the internet and in my opinion these definitely deserve all of the love that they are receiving. So yes, let's jump into the video. So first up, oh my goodness, this concealer from Urban Decay, literally I am dead. There are no words. This thing is so freaking good. Oh my god. <laughs> This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. This one here is only just released in Australia, so we've only just been able to get our hands on it, like literally for a couple of weeks. It's available at Mecca Maxima stores. Oh my gosh, this thing seriously deserves every single bit of hype that it has been getting. It's kind of like a concealer version of the foundation, but with much, much, much higher coverage. The coverage of this stuff is absolutely ridiculous. You literally only need like a couple of dots under each eye and it will completely cover all of your dark under eye circles, um, any pigmentation or discoloration. It covers acne and it blends out to this just incredible like velvety matte finish that seriously, it is like paint. It does not go anywhere throughout the day. This stuff is insane. I did do a full, uh, you know, wear test and review video using this one. Um, was it last week? The week before? I mean, it was filmed ages ago, but it only just went up on my channel. So I'll link that down below as well. But honestly, this stuff is ridiculous. If you've got oily skin, if you particularly struggle to get your concealers to stay in place, if you're looking for a concealer that's genuinely full coverage, and I think I'm pretty sure um, while I was doing that video, I was researching and whatnot, and this has got like 70% more pigment than your average concealer, which is just like, it's seriously just crazy. It's just so worth the hype, honestly. It comes with a little doe foot applicator. The packaging's gorgeous. I think it comes in 14 shades from memory. This stuff, seriously, if you're looking for one thing to, you know, invest some money in that's a new release, definitely get this one. Next up, I've got this funny little sponge from Sigma, and I do kind of feel like I'm cheating on my beauty blender. You guys know how much I love my beauty blender. But this is the Sigma, I think, is it the Ultra HD sponge, HD sponge, something like that. It's essentially a beauty blender that's been cut into kind of like a quarter. So it's got three flat sides, so a long flat side there, and sorry, mine's a little bit grubby. Um, another long flat side there, and then a flat side at the bottom, and then the outer um, sort of portion of the sponge, I guess, is smooth and curved like a regular beauty blender. This thing is awesome because it's got such a fine point to it. You can use it to really get in close underneath the eyes. On top of the eyes, you can use it to apply eyeshadow primer. You can use it around your nose. It's so good for baking. I love this bottom surface here, this flat surface at the bottom for baking. Like You can pack on so much powder. In my opinion, this is the only sponge that comes close to being as soft as the original beauty blender. I've just been using it flat out. Like You can use the curved side, you can use the flat side, you can use the bottom side. It's just, and it's funny because when I opened it, I was like, that's literally a beauty blender that's been cut into like thirds. Like, really? I was, I was so cynical, but then I used it and I was like, oh, oh I see where you come from. Oh, <laughs> really, really good. Next up. Oh, and this is a funny story because I sat on this palette for so, so long. This arrived in the mail probably safe to say four weeks ago and it sat in this little pile of parcels. I knew it was in there, but I've been waiting to do an unboxing haul for you guys. So I've been trying not to go through my, um, you know, PR parcels and things like that. I sat on it, I opened it and I looked at it and I was like, uh, it looks kind of boring. I don't know. I didn't like modern Renaissance. Am I going to like this? They look kind of similar. I feel like such an idiot. I have been using this every single day since I got it. So obviously this is the Anastasia Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. And this one has got really beautiful warm tone shadows in it. Mattes, shimmers, blacks, everything you can imagine. Oh, there's just something magical about this, honestly. The way that the mattes blend, they're just perfectly seamless. Honestly, it's a few swipes and you are done. The black is so crazy pigmented. 
The shimmers in these are all gorgeous. I have swatched a bunch of the shades on the back of my hand here. Um, it's always so hard to swatch on camera, but they are seriously pigmented like you would not believe. And let me tell you, I own a lot of neutral eyeshadow palettes and there's a lot of them that I reach for every single day that I'm kind of like, yes, like I love you and no, I don't love you. This is for sure a love. It just blends so well. And actually the brush that comes with this is so good. So at one end, it's like a sort of a flat shading brush. And then the other end is a blending brush. I have been using this brush like, and like I said, I've been using this palette pretty well every single day, but I have been using this brush with the palette. It's awesome. So Anastasia, you hit the nail on the head. The only thing that I will say is I hate the packaging absolutely detest the packaging. Give it a few weeks and this is gonna be absolutely filthy and it's already filthy. And because it's felt, there's no way to clean it. Why do they do this? I don't like my things looking messy and it's always gonna look messy. That's one thing I do have to say, but I don't even care. The shadows in this, legit. Next up, I actually have another eyeshadow palette. I couldn't help myself. Normally I don't like to include two eyeshadow palettes in these videos, but I just, I really couldn't help myself. The BH Cosmetics Gilded. Um, this is from their Glam Reflection range. This is a 15 color eyeshadow palette. This is another palette that I actually sat on for quite a while. It arrived in the mail um, and then I actually saw Chloe Morella do a tutorial with it a little while back and I was like, oh my God, I've got to get that palette out and try it. Seriously obsessed with this. It's so pigmented as well. Like, let me just pick up a couple of these shadows and show you maybe a brown. It's seriously so ridiculously pigmented. The shimmers in this are blinding. The mattes are really, really nice. I do find them um, maybe a little on the dry side as far as mattes go, but at the same time, they're so easy to blend. This color here and this one here are seriously the best colors for working through the crease for any eyeshadow look. This yellow gold. <laughs> Oh, and this color down here. Oh, and this pink color here. <laughs> the pigmentation of this thing is just ridiculous. Look at that. Look at that. And they are like the worst finger swatches ever. But honestly, this is 100% worth the money. And you don't have to spend much. Most of the time, this is on sale, I think, for less than $10. It's so affordable. Packaging is beautiful as well. You can see your reflection. Oh, hi. Oh, highlighter. Yes. And then finally, product number five. And this is probably another one that you wouldn't have been expecting. But um, yeah, I've gone through all of the new stuff, basically. Well, not all of it, but majority of the new stuff that's come out recently. I've tested all of it. I've tried it. I've played with it. I've swatched it. I've worn it. This guy came out on top. This is the MAC Sia lipstick. So this is actually a red lipstick. This is obviously part of the Viva Glam range that MAC does. And I absolutely love this lipstick range because the proceeds go to the AIDS Foundation, um, you know, for research and for helping AIDS victims. It's absolutely amazing. For starters, packaging, seriously, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's a really beautiful, rich toned blue undertone actually not entirely blue undertone it's sort of like more of like an earthy brownie undertone to it but the formula and the color and the wear of this lipstick is absolutely stunning i am quite fussy about red lipsticks i find that i don't really love the way a lot of them look on my skin i find that a lot of red lipsticks make my skin look quite pink because i'm olive i don't really like to look too pink it just seems weird to me but honestly it's so pigmented and it's the most perfect red. If you have similar coloring to me, yellow undertone to your skin, um, you know, dark hair, you're going to freaking love this. And it is like the most creamiest pigmented thing ever. Oh, I find it to be kind of like a satiny finish. I need to double check what they actually market it as, but it, it sort of looks matte on the lips, but it's still got a beautiful sheen to it. It feels very creamy. It feels very, very comfortable. And I have swatched it against some of the MAC favorites here. So just so you can see the difference. So this one here is the MAC uh, Viva Glam Sia. This one here is Ruby Woo. And then this one here is Lady Danger. See how the Sia shade is just so much richer. It's got so much more depth to it. It's like this beautiful Hollywood red color. Honestly, for all of my red lipstick lovers out there, you will die over this lipstick. All right, so that is all five products, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Um, I hope that these are helping. Please let me know if you wanna continue seeing these videos Leave a comment down below. Let me know that you enjoy them. Let me know if you want it to be more than five products or less or 
you know, you want me to do them less frequently? Tell me what you want. I need to hear your feedback so that I can make it what you want to see. But yes, I personally love filming them because I just, I think there's so much new stuff released all the time. How the hell can anyone stay on top of that? And with all the marketing and stuff these days, like they make everything seem so good. It's like, oh, I need it. And then you buy it and you're like, why? Why did I do that? I've been there that many times. <laughs> but yes, I love you guys all so, so much. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I will catch you guys in my next one.